All right, you guys, I wanted to update y'all. Right now, I am outside in the car. Houston actually just fell asleep, so I didn't want to go in there. Um, but like he's inside of Kroger's right now and he's trying to do some light grocery shopping because we do need some food at the house But I did want to come talk to y'all because you guys I have been dealing with like really bad anxiety lately and like a lot of the times I don't even feel antsy or anxious or whatever But I start having like these like anxiety attacks and they are so irritating like there's like they bother me like I have been um, dealing with a different type of symptom when it comes to my anxiety attacks because I used to deal with anxiety a lot when I was a teenager. Um, even when I was young, I unconsciously had anxiety. Like even in elementary, I remember I used to call my mom crying from the nurse's office because my chest would really, 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 really hurt um, from my breathing and just having anxiety. And so it went on till I was like a teenager and it just got worse through time and then eventually ended up having to get on medication for my anxiety but all that went away after like a while of me just you know thinking positive and just being more active throughout the day i haven't experienced anxiety since forever until like recently after i had the baby after i had houston I started having um, anxiety episodes and um, they had been very like random literally I felt like something like if you were to put your finger right there and like press on it it just felt like that for like more than five minutes and it would just get worse and worse and then I would start feeling like my whole neck muscles like tightening up like like if there was pressure on them like i don't know like if they were cramping up which eventually turned into me getting a headache me feeling like my um uh, basically my head pounding um my heartbeat i could just hear it and feel it in my head and i would just feel so irritated i tried not to worry about it i tried to calm down i tried to eat i tried to like do things to get my mind off of it but as the days have been going on i actually have been experiencing them more often than i think i should i actually get them like every 20 to 30 minutes some days it doesn't come at all during the morning and then in the evening time i'll just start having these episodes like every 20 30 minutes and then they'll last like five to ten minutes so that's what i've been dealing with i'm sorry i don't want to be ranting on and like you know just blah 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 but i did want to come and update y'all on that because this morning i actually had to call a doctor and i am gonna go get this checked out because i literally feel like i need medical attention so y'all are gonna come with me later on my appointment's actually at 1 30 and it is 11 a.m right now so we have some time um right after we finish grocery shopping we're gonna head home drop all the groceries off probably get some lunch before we go to the doctor and then go ahead to the doctor then come back home hopefully everything turns out good with me at the doctor's office What's up, Nene? What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you stay true and hit the like button. Don't be a hater all your life, man. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're on our way to 100K, you feel me? Check this out. We behind on a couple of y'all orders out there, and that's because the people that uh, print up our shirts last week, that, that whole uh, shop was underwater, so right now that we were waiting since last week for our shirts to come in they're telling us this week so hopefully any day now shirts gonna come in and we're gonna mail y'all your shirts go to luciano tv.com and place your order today if you haven't already the link is always in the description so yeah make sure you go copy your merch luciano tv.com we, we still mailing them out today though ain't nothing stopping us from mailing them out i'm actually excited but a little bit nervous uh, about going to the doctor right now um but I think this is like the best route we can go 
And Lucky's already feeling kind of like, uh. I just feel like I try to tell her to drink some hot tea. You know I got my home remedies. She don't want to listen to me. I tell her to drink some hot tea. It's probably her thyroid gland swollen. It's not swollen. If it was swollen, you'd be able to see it. But even if it is, we're going to find out right now. We can't try and diagnose me like if you're like a doctor. I'm an MD, Dr. Luck. Yeah, right. And that's the problem with him. Every single time something's wrong with us, like he swears he knows what's wrong. He swears he's the doctor. He swears. I, mean, I know a little bit about everything. So anyway, check this out. Kelly Jean here has been having anxiety attacks. And when she starts breathing, she stops. Well, no, she keep, continues to breathe, but she says it's hard to breathe. And her throat be feel like saying, like, she says it feels like somebody's squeezing her throat. It's actually happening, like, right now, but it's not as bad as how it usually gets. So we're going to the doctor right after we mail this merch. We got an appointment at 1.30. <sighs> and we're going to see what the doctor says. And I just hope he don't think we're up there trying to get some Xanax. I don't want none of that. I mean, just because look at us. You got tattoos. I got tattoos. He's going to be like, oh, man, they in here trying to get some bars. So you can't tell them you're having anxiety attacks. You got to just tell them your throat is tight. Enough. Babe, I am a certified medical assistant. I know how the protocol goes. I know how this goes. Oh, I'm not in there trying to get drugs. <laughs> he is going to go mold merch, and then we are going to go to the doctor and see what's wrong with me. Come on, Kelly Jean. No, no, I know I was joking earlier, but mental health is really a real issue. Shout out to everybody going through it. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all see us on these videos. Like I we don't ain't got want no, no problems. shout out. <laughs> I know y'all think we ain't got no problems, man, but we ain't perfect. We be going through it too, and this is real life. We having real life issues right now. You know what I'm saying? Kelly Jean is having a mental breakdown, and we got to go in this doctor's office and find out what's going on. I am not feeling good at all. Go ahead, ladies first. Thank you. What? Elevator. What in the hell? Oh, it's up there. It's on the fourth floor. Okay. <laughs> so we happen to be early and they are at lunch. They don't return until 1.30 and that's when my appointment is. And we're just waiting in the little waiting room. Thank you. I got better news than I thought. So he said that we're gonna start off with um, acid reflux medication for two weeks to see if that is doing it because the symptoms that I'm saying is, it could either be that or anxiety. The two most common symptoms are acid reflux or anxiety. So we're gonna start off with um, acid reflux yeah. medication and if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to come back and see something about anti-anxiety medications. So we decided to come to Whole Foods since we were down the street. It is so hot out here, you guys. And I am hungry, we haven't had lunch. Nick, you think you want caramel chocolate? Give him this. Here. Okay, never mind. So like he's actually getting a salad. But as I came around the corner and saw some actual food, I am gonna go get me some real food. This looks delicious. This looks better than any salad. So look at my plate. I got me some chicken, some mashed potatoes, a little bit of mac and cheese, and some pasta salad. Get a piece of that. Let me get some of that. <laughs> Take this man nowhere. Hey, what up? <laughs> I appreciate Lucky, uh, Lucky and Kelly coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't take him nowhere. <laughs> Say hi, Houston. Up. Up. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm a subscriber. I'm about to hit on the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. I like that. I got that good. I usually get the vinaigrette uh, salad, but today I was wanting ranch. So I got the good old ranch. 
And then we also got some sushi on the side. You know that we are sushi lovers over here. And we got these cold pressed juices. I literally just tasted it and it is so strong. You can taste the ginger in it. But I'm feeling a little better, you guys. Hopefully this food is gonna help me as well. All right, you guys, so update. I am feeling a little better. Lucky is actually at his massage appointment. And I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I am going to start decorating the house. As y'all know, the last day of summer was like two days ago. And we are now in the season of fall, which I love. This is probably like my favorite time of the year. One of my favorite holidays is Halloween. So I bought two little pumpkins, a pumpkin spice uh, candle that already actually ran out. So I need to go buy some new ones um, because I love the smell. But look, let me show y'all. I have that pumpkin right there. I have those pumpkins over there by the stove i have these two right here i do have a lot of halloween decorations last year lucky and i threw like a, a big halloween party and i went all out and so that is like one of my favorite holidays like i said and i think that even though it's still not the end of september or like the beginning of october i'm thinking that i am going to jump the gun and i'm going to start putting up all the halloween decorations because why not so look at this you guys I have this spider that jumps up on you. It's it's pretty hilarious. I'll show y'all how it works in a little bit. Let me just take everything out of the uh, storage room or storage closet. And then I will show y'all what I have. And then y'all are going to help me decorate the house. What? What? I have this uh, little doll. I guess she's like stands up. Um, last year I had her outside and I think I'm still gonna put her outside because it's just too creepy to have in the house. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he literally left his little toy. It's not even a toy. It's like one of those mashed potatoes, mushers, mashers or whatever. You're scared? So I hung this on the tree outside along with all of these little ones. Um, and then I have this pot right here. For the inside decorations, I really don't have much other than this little skull. Um, this right here. And like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So to start off, I am already like thinking we are going to put her right there. Houston, leave her alone. Come on. You're gonna help me? So Houston's really just like gonna be chilling. Uh, I'm just gonna be hanging this stuff on here on the tree. And we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. I don't think I can find any good spot to prop y'all up. But I am gonna try my best to give y'all a before and after like I said. Um, so here goes the before real quick. Before. I set Houston down in this little beach chair that we have and he is really really calm um, Hopefully he stays that way and he just watches me decorate Y'all look Look how cute is this Aww. Who is it Houston? Bro bro How's school? Yeah, so Kingston just got home from school and I finally caught him outside. Well, he and he caught me outside decorating. So I am currently done with the decorations that I did have on hand to decorate right now. And this is my tree. If only the sun wouldn't be hating on me, but I ended up putting the yellow tape around the tree. I put yellow tape on here. I know it looks tacky. And then I have my spider right here. Pumpkins for my little walkway. And I think it'll finish my yard. No, I just broke it. It's your... simple, it's cute, and it was like really quick. This, guys, this is why I got. The, I had to get $10 tape just for this. And I'm, I got more pencils like like this. So I could use it for these. It's like, it's... It's artist tape and it's like such a good grip versus this like and right here you see that ball right there It's because I was holding a pencil 
And this grip makes it easier to like, like grip it and it's like not as hard as the middle. Leah, Leah got her painting. Let's see what it say, what it say? Thank Forget you. princess, I want to be an astrophysicist. Is that right? You want to be an astrophysicist? They didn't know it. What's up, fat boy? Why are you carrying them? Get to finish it and then we're getting hot. Oh, you're getting hot? That's yeah. why you gotta go take a shower? Yeah. I think it's your turn to take a shower. Okay. With some zucchini and broccoli. Yeah. Oh. Let me put this camera down and pick my son up. I'm about to eat because I'm starving. <laughs> there's kids in Africa that are really starving. I'm starving. And you know there's kids in Africa that are dying of diarrhea? I watched Babe, I'm cooking. Man, I, I watched a show the other day on uh, Netflix about Bill Gates. And it was talking about how Bill Gates spent like $200 million trying to build sanitation. All right, all sanitation right. Sanitation for I'm about to eat. kids in Africa that are dying. Kids like Houston's age. And you know why? Because they ain't even got fresh water. The water they got is the same water that people pee and poop in. And that's the water they used to play in and drink water out of. And it gives the little kids this, like his size, diarrhea, and they end up dying. And just imagine Houston dying of diarrhea. Of di How does the diarrhea kill him? Because they're drinking poop water. So my point is, you need to be thankful and grateful for the water that you got in your refrigerator. You need to be thankful that you can go turn on the shower and let the water hit your big head without being poop water. How do you know it's not? Water. How do you know it's not? Technically, it is poop and pee yeah, water. Yeah, but it's clean. This water they got is not clean. Can I show it to you? Do you want to watch it? No. If y'all haven't watched it already, it's on Netflix. It's Bill Gates. It's a Netflix show about Bill Gates. Watch it. I don't recommend it. Le Check Kelly couldn't even watch, watch it because... It and I almost threw up, you guys. You know why they don't... They have like little outhouses in their, in their villages or their little towns or whatever. But they stink so bad and they're filled up with so much poop that they don't even like using them. They just go to the river or the little stream and use it. But when they do clean out that little toilet they use, they dump it in, they dump it in the stream. And then later on down that same stream, the little kids be playing in it. And then when they need water, they go get the bucket and fill it up water out of that stream and use that water. What? All right, Dad, that's disgusting. Don't even put that on the vlog. You're weird. Can we kiss Kylie? Mm-mm. Tiny bit? Mm-mm. A little bit? Anyways, got an email from Disney Channel. Uh huh. Of course. And they told me they want to work with me because I'm insane. And I told them they had to talk to my manager, this guy, because the lowest price has to be a hundred thousand. <laughs> well, you better go for them M's. I'm just kidding. But we did get an email from someone. Today we're gonna give a big old birthday shout out to Daniela. Uh, Gondara? Gondara. Gondara. Same thing. Uh -oh. From Big Spring, Texas. Happy birthday to you. Today, turning 18 years old. Happy birthday. Bianca, shout out to your mama bear. Uh, turning 45. 43. Huh? 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 45, I was correct. The director just told me. Shout out to her from Hawaii. Honolulu. Honda. Would love to visit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Peace. And, kicking my feet up, I want to give a shout out to Joel Sosa, turning 24. 26. 26. Oh, my bad. And from friends. Yo, I mean. <laughs> Yo, you look like two piglets. Stop and it. You are two. <laughs> what was on your feet? <laughs> Come on, man. Just like salt. Happy birthday to Joel Salsa turning 26. Salsa. Happy birthday to Joel Salsa turning 26 from Soul Sweet, Texas. Fresno, Texas. My bad. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.